Hey folks, good morning. This is Toro Bacharov here. Uh, coming to share with you a few of the initial things that you need to do to get set up as a government CSP. So you've gone through all the process, you've gotten all the forms, you have agreed and, and signed your the, the terms and conditions and you've done all the agreements. So you're ready to go. So what happens next? So two things that you need to keep in mind, uh, you gotta have your credentials and be ready to move forward. And um, and again, I mean, I'll just touch on a few of the value points of our program, which is, I mean, it allows you to create solutions, and then directly bill your customers. You provide them uh, all the services that you that you can attach, you know, to Azure as well as anything else that that you can do to go above and beyond. You're the first point of contact for those customers from support perspective, and you continue to build an ongoing customer relationship with them. Uh, our partner center, which is the the um, solution that allows you to manage and create customers functions as a single pane of glass. So we'll go we'll go through a couple of those scenarios today as to how to get set up and, and get started. So without further ado, let me go ahead and, and, uh, and uh, go through this. So in order for us to do this, as I said, you need to have a few things ready on your end. So you'll probably have an account that was that was, that was given to you uh, through the sign up process. And uh, you'll come into partnercenter.microsoft.com. It looks something like that. You'll click on, on login and you'll be prompted to provide your account and password. For a first time, uh, for a first time setup, you will be uh, asked to update your temporary password. So you can see here that I've started this process and I'll click sign in and this will take me to Partner Center. So we, the first time you log in, as I said, you will probably, uh, you know, uh, you will come here, you can click on the dashboard, you will be seeing a couple of, of things and you'll be wondering, well, what, what can I really do? There's not a lot for me to do now because you, you have fairly, fairly limited uh, functionality in terms of uh, what can be done and what are some of the steps that can be taken. So as a one-time operation, we need to make sure that your account is set up with the right permissions in the right spot. Uh, all of account management set up for permissions and administrator access and all that fun stuff for our government community cloud is done in uh, that portal for Azure management, which is also known as the Azure management portal. So we'll take a look at that as well, and we'll go through that process in just a few seconds. So as Partner Center loads, uh, you will notice here, and let's give it a second here, um, you will notice that there's a few, only a few buttons on the left-hand side for, from a navigation perspective. So let's give it a minute. I will hit reload just to make sure that the browser is not doing something interesting for me. And one thing that I will also recommend is as you do all these operations, make sure that you're doing this in an in private session just to make sure that you're using the right credentials that all of the uh, cookies that you might have cached across you know, moving from accounts because you may have a personal account, you may have a work account, um, maybe somewhere floating around you. So make sure to do this in private or incognito, and, and that way you can ensure that you're doing the right steps with the right account. So once this loads, I will make sure to, to show you what the immediate things to do. So while this loads, I'll uh, come and set up here on the other side of the screen. I'll, I'll uh, pull up the Azure portal. But now this has come... Uh, for us. So you will notice a few things. This is the second video we're doing of, of this sort. You see that the that the partner center has changed a little bit. It's, it has a couple of, of blades and, and a few highlights here and there. So there's a tour that you can take. I will recommend you to go through it to understand what are some of the features. I will skip it for now, but make sure to review it later. So first thing to notice, make sure that you see this on the top right hand side. This is the Microsoft US government cloud. If you're not seeing these, that means that you're logged in with your commercial account. So first time login, you see a couple of things. There's not much to do, CSP overview. Where do I get started? Why, what do I do now? So I'll close this window and then I'll come to portal.azure.us, which is the way for us to log in into the, into the management portal. And here, as you can see, this cached out some of my previous credentials, but let me log, log out and then log in with the account that I had just created. So I'll go ahead and select it. I will log in with my newly created account. It will log me in, make sure that you are logging into the right spot. And you will see this is your all up 
partner tenant. So this is for you to manage your users, and you can uh, uh, do a couple of other API integration functionality here. But as I said, this is your all up company parent tenant as a partner. This is where you just manage your own internal users. So if you want to have extra administrators, people that will help your customers, here is where you want to create them. And all of that happens in the Azure Active Directory Blade. Uh, we will go into the Azure Active Directory first. And as I said, this is a one-time operation. You will come into users and you will see that there's a lot of users here for my tenant. And I've created all of these folks in the past, but uh, we care about one specific account today, which is our CSV uh, GA test one. So I will select it. I will go a little bit deeper into it and you will see that it has a group membership. When you log in for the first time, you will notice that this account has no group memberships. It will have zero. You need to make sure to add to your account the admin agents group. So you will click on the add. A few uh, groups will show up. By default, CSP has three groups, admin agents, help desk agents, and sales agents. Admin agents, it's, think of it as, a, as an all-up admin. It's the global admin. Anyone with this um, can create customers, create subscriptions. They can create all kinds of things. Uh, help desks allows your customers to service, create, uh, service and create support tickets. And the sales agents allows you to manage subscriptions and see billing details. Admins can do all of that. So be careful as to who you give what access to. So uh, you can select, as I said, to, to complete the, the one-time uh, setup, you will select admin agent, you will you know, click select here, and it will save it. I'm already an admin agent, so I'm not going to go through this process again. But for any new account that you create, any new user that you add, you can go through these steps and give them the right and necessary permission. After you've done this, um, I will, you know, I will exit the Azure Management Portal because I've done this once. I'm done, and I'll go back to my dashboard. So if you see now that I'm logged into my dashboard, I can see more, many more things. I can see customers, sales, support, billing, Azure spending, all of these things that I can do. Uh, this account has already been, you know, been active a couple of times. So I have a, a recurring bill that is already landing. You will see a summary here. And the quick links, of course, that you may want to review in your leisure in the future as you log into the portal. Uh, but let's go quickly through one uh, scenario, which is the customer creation. This will give you an idea of how fast you can create a customer. Let's say that you've gone through the process of, uh, you know, already um, acquiring a customer. Uh, you've, you've, you've talked to them and, and they've, they've told you, hey, I need to measure how do I, how do I accomplish these steps and what do, I, what do I do first, right? Where, where do I start? So you need to make sure that you validated them, that they're a, 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 indeed a true government entity and that they're eligible to go into the Azure um, cloud. And after you've done that, then you can come here to the partner center and create their first tenant. This tenant will be living, as I said, into the, into the, uh, government in uh, community cloud so um, that way you can you know move forward so oh, looks like I'm getting an interesting error let me log in and log out again as I said uh, sometimes all these switch between accounts make us some of these scenarios for you to you know not not move forward so let me sign in click sign in I will select my admin account I will log in here real fast, and I'm back in. Perfect. So let's go ahead and create our first customer. So I'll click on customer. As I am an admin agent, I can already create and, and manage all my customers. I have many customers here, as you can see. I'll add one more, uh, and let's start with them selecting United States. Because given that this is uh, the community uh, for only U.S. Uh, government, we can only select U.S. territory. So you can see that this is very limited from which uh, country we can select. So I'll create this, my um, demo customer test. I will create a domain for them. This will be your customer's tenant. So, so keep that in mind. If your customer is called you know, uh, department of something, you may want to think about giving them the right domain that is significant to them as you, and this is something that they may help you to define. So I will call this uh, depart, department of, of D or of demo. Let's make it, you know, let's make it, uh, you know, a little bit more official. Um, so it looks like the, there's going to be a check. Uh, the domain is available. Perfect. I will give them an address. For simplicity, I will use as you know, my address here. 
and this is all validated so make sure you do enter a correct address uh, because it will probably not not work otherwise and then I'll enter my email here and then click next so now that I've captured all my customer details this is great. Uh, uh, it, it's moving along pretty quickly. I'll select the Azure Government CSP subscription in the future. As new subscriptions and features you know, become available, they will all show up here and you'll be able to select them. So I'll select the Azure Government CSP subscription. I'll click Next in Review. It will give me all the details of the things that I have done. And then lastly, click Submit. The poll will take a couple of minutes and it will create you know, um, the account and the subscription. By default, every customer created within CSP is created with one single subscription where they can start doing, you know, immediately, uh, you know, access it and do work for them. Um, and you can add many more subscriptions after that as you create them. So you will see here that we have, uh, this is the department of demo. This is the admin user that was created for this customer. So what I'll do is I'll open a, a notepad here and I will bring this up so I can save it for future and I have also my temporary password I'll come back here this is perfect I've copied it and just for sake of of security I will copy the the company uh, domain as well so I can have it for reference in case I need it then I I see a couple of more details and then when I click done Basically, my customer is created, their tenant is ready to be used, and they can do a couple of things. Now, if they wanted to, to log in, for example, they can come in here, and I will say, um, let me open actually a new in private window, so that way we can make sure that nothing is falling through. I will come to portal.azure.us. I got to make sure that I sign out. And I will use another account. In this case, I am going to use my customer's account that I just created. So if you remember, it was admin at departmentofdemo.com. You can see that the account is here. I will click next. I will enter their temporary password um, once I am able to copy it. So I will enter their temporary password here and I will be asked to change it and, and Hopefully this match. And after I've changed my temporary password, the customer will be able to log in and and um, you know take a look at their Azure management portal. By default, you know there's nothing here. But here is where they will you or they, depending on how your agreement is and how you structure that relationship, will be able to create virtual machines and uh, storage accounts and all those workloads that they need to manage. You can notice here in the top right that I'm logged in as my administrator for the customer at my domain and everything is looking great. So what do I need to do now? So let's say that I wanted to create, you know, a net new resource. Um, let's say I want to create a, you know, virtual machine. So I'll come here, I'll click uh, create a new resource and I'll click compute, which is my virtual machines. I will like to see them all because I probably want something specific. I want a Windows server and then I'll click create. Then I'm going to get this error that says, oh my God, we don't have an Azure subscription. And then you'll think, well, how is this possible? We just created one. Well, you did create it, but you need to ensure that your customer is made, has been made a, a owner of it. So how do we do that? So we'll go into the portal.azure.us. So we'll, you, as the global administrator, will have to log in into the customer's portal. Again, this is a one-time thing. You log into the customer's portal, into their tenant with your global administrator and give them the right permissions. So here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to come here, I'll sign out, and I will go into portal.azure.us, WAC, and since I want to log into the customer's tenant, uh, I will append after .us the customer's tenant, which is Department of Demo 
go on Microsoft.com, click enter. Now it will tell, you, tell me which account do you want to use. So I have a couple of, of, of accounts that I can use. Of course, the one that the customers, we don't want to use that. You want to use the one that you have as a global administrator. So as a global administrator, I'm going to log in. Now I'm through. So now you can notice that I'm logged into the partner of demo with my with my global administrator. So this is my Totor uh, test test FFTSP Azure, which is my parent tenant, but I'm logged in into the department of demo tenant. So again, this is this is you as a global administrator logging into the customers. So I'll go into the Azure. Uh, actually, I'll go into all services and look to see which subscriptions I have. Usually subscriptions is not something that is selected by default. I always recommend folks to select it and make it a default uh, 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 favorite, so to say, to show up here. So that, it, that way it's easier for you to navigate. So you go into subscriptions, you will see here that there is the Azure government CSP subscription that we created earlier. You can select it and then we will go into the access control. And there's no assignment. So what what, I, what we want to do is we want to click Add, and you will see the one user that exists into this tenant, which is your demo customer administrator, right? So we'll select it. We'll give it a role, which we want to make it an owner. And we'll click Save. Now, if I log back in into this account with my demo customer test administrator, we will be good to go. Uh, let's test that out so that way you know we can make sure that we're on the right scenario. So I'll sign out of here. I will go into portal.azure.us, department of demo, go to Microsoft.com, and then I'll log in with my admin at department of demo or Microsoft.com. I'll attempt to create a virtual machine again. The compute, seal, select the Windows server, click create. And now the story changes. Here now I can begin to you know provide it all these different scenarios that I that I wish to you know create my, my username my password, confirm the password, select which region I wish to deploy it to, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, with this, you will be pretty much ready to have your, your customer moving forward. As you can see, in just a matter of minutes, we've set you up, we've created your first customer, and we've been able to kick this operation off. So we'll conclude this video. Uh, don't, uh, you know, don't, don't forget to reach out if you have any other questions or concerns. We'll record a couple of more that touch on a few of the other basics of the partner center and make sure to tune in. So thank you for joining us and we'll talk to you soon.